let me tell you how sick this is. Anyone who did not believe me the first time was a complete moron. Okay? We live in a society where a bunch of sadistic, look at me, hum hum motherfuckers, you know, have complexes. Look at the cases of police brutality in the news. It's almost always related to being a control freak and having a complex. So you have hackers, right, who have complexes that use technology to harass and terrorize people. You see that with Anonymous, who, you know, logically, you know, or supposedly, they are the more ethical of the illegal hackers. Um, so yes, it's a, it's a technological terror and abuse state. So logically, you would expect the police to use technology and drugs to get at people they don't like and to get away with it. You know, we, we see police telling people to stop recording them because they have a proclivity or a natural tendency to want to get away with their abuses. So logically, we would expect them to find paths to get away with abusing people that they don't like, especially when it relates to control. So when you look at political dissidents such as myself that have specifically called out different police agencies and entities and their affiliates, their organizations such as the California Peace Officers Association and so on, and the police fraternities and, and so on, you know, you would expect them to use technology and drugs to, you know, get at me. As you have seen with the RT documentary, they, you know, all the experts tell you, yes, MK Ultra existed, yes, um, Project Artichoke, MK Search, um, Project Bluebird, the Phoenix program, these existed, and the CIA are still doing these things to this day because the political environment is almost exactly the same. We still have a competition with Russia, and there's the UK, Ukrainian crisis, and what have you. Okay. So. When you look at the history of this country and Catholicism, you look at the Catholics, okay, the, um, it's been said that all roads would lead to the Vatican. The road between the Illuminati, you know, and the Vatican, you know, uh, and, and the, Va the Vatican secret societies leads to the Vatican. The, um, well, I'm not hold on a second, there's some gang stalkers beside me talking, trying to disturb me. Okay, so I was talking about all roads lead to the Vatican. Now, with Catholics, you have the Protestant movement from Luther, okay? The Templars, you know, famous ones like De, De Molay, Jack De Molay, and the Illuminati, a Jesuit, Weishaupt. All these people used to be Catholics, you know, and probably were undercover Catholics. And, you know, the story goes that they got too big for the britches and they branched off. Who knows? But bottom line, it, it goes back to Catholicism as the catalyst of all these major secret societies. The church predates um, Freemasonry by over a thousand years. And Freemasons hold intellect over superstition. Okay. So you have Aldolfo Nicholas, who's supposedly the, currently the Black Pope. And... Um, and there's another general. Uh, I can't read my notes here, but anyway, I'll put it in the comments. And of course, you had Pope Francis. All right, so these people hold intellect over superstition. They have the Lucifer's telescope, the Vatican Library, and some of the top scholars um, in the world, most of them are Catholics. A lot of people don't know this. A lot of these priests go to special universities where they hold degrees in you know Christian theology and also in um, you know other things as well science scientific degrees social sciences what have you now and and you know these people such as Hawking uh, Hawking and Dawkins you know Richard um, they they aren't very uh, intelligent compared to the Vatican to the to the Catholic guys okay they are for the sheep they are you know quote unquote intellects who've been propped up for the sheep to follow blindly. It's the blind leading the blind and that is the idea, you know, 
to create a bunch of controlled opposition movements, to create a powerful satanic movement, and to have a monopoly on Christianity, and um, to you know have the problem solution on the scholar level, on the level of scholars. Most scholars won't get to the point where they say, you know, organized uh, religion is bad that they're the ones who are doing this but they'll get to the point to where they say that there's satanists behind the government satanic cults doing this and they'll be aware of vatican involvement but they won't truly realize that their church their protestant church you know their catholic churches are all horrors for the new world order as well and when we look at revelations it does say that the church of laodicea and what have you now um So, also you expect them to suppress my views, right? Um, the perps to watch so that they can make people like me feel like, hey, you're doing good enough with your videos. You don't need to do anything else. You don't need to fight with these people. You don't need to go out and try to hand out pamphlets and flyers. And if you do that, they'll have perps come around and be the ones taking the fat flyers. So you feel that you're accomplishing more than you actually are while they're suppressing your videos and messing with the search results. Uh, all this is exactly what you'd expect, not just what they're doing. Um, you'd expect the political opposition to blackball you and people with complexes to be expendable and some people volunteering because their complex is such that they will help, they will, you know, serve the New World Order to their death to help their controlled opposition movement, such as the LGBT movements and the feminist ones. Um, you see, you also expect someone like me to be occupied with their workout, their training, and their research and their video making. So, you know, like with today when I went to In-N-Out, I won't take much time trying to find a place to eat that isn't drugging me. You know, and I'm also willing to die for what I believe, and I walk with God. So, I'm not going to go much too far out of my way to avoid what the enemy is doing. So when you look at the history, you know, this goes back to deism and the history of the philosophies. America's state of philosophy actually, you know, actually, you know, would support someone such as myself. But their actual philosophy is secret society manipulation. The Americans, you know, the original ones, the colonies, the 13 original colonies, what have you, were mostly Christians. And they would not have approved of what is going on today, you know. And a lot of Christians with their passive and controlled opposition stance have allowed for Satanism to run rampant in society. As so we look at the highest levels in the Vatican, the people who think they know better about the Bible, they believe that Satan should rule this world and that there should be a powerful group of Christians that lead the Christian movement. Okay, so they're, they are almost, you know, they believe in an equilibrium or a balance, so they they think that they're serving God and the devil at the same time. But most of them simply believe, in a nutshell, that they're going to use religion as a control mechanism, and that they're going to use their intellect to control you. But to leave it at that is insanity. There is a God. The the mor morality in the Bible is true. Christianity as a philosophy is superior. And it is impossible for them to lose a debate on that subject, okay, without being extremely incompetent. They would have to choose people who are incompetent on purpose to lose to someone such as Hawkins or Docking or any of these quote unquote respected atheist, you know, quote unquote scholars. So that's, um, that's, I think that's about all I have. You know, I serve humanity and God and. Oh, I have this video. I serve humanity and God first and foremost, and I put them way above everything else, way above my financial concerns, my family, you know, and so on. And women have betrayed me so, so horribly. All of your philosophies, mainstream America, have failed. Your controlled Christian movements have failed. Satanism, criminality, atheism, feminism, LGBT philosophies, your eugenic philosophies, they have all failed because you've allowed somebody who is more dedicated and righteous than pretty much everyone to be shunned by over 3.5 billion females in the world, okay? Granted that only a small percent of them are really qualified to, you know, um, 
to be with me. You know, they're, they're, you know, they're smart and attractive enough to be with me, but it's still millions of females we're talking about. And therefore society, the mainstream philosophies of society have failed miserably. Thank you.